These days, you can connect to Wi-Fi just about anywhere. But did you know that Wi-Fi speeds and internet speeds are actually two different things? It's important when learning the basics about the internet, Wi-Fi, as well as networking to understand the differences. Hey, I'm Austin, and my goal in these videos is to help you get the most out of your tech and make informed decisions as consumers. So we all know Wi-Fi is how you connect your phone, your tablet, laptop, smart devices, TVs, and a whole bunch of other wireless devices to your home or office Wi-Fi router. Now your Wi-Fi router is connected to the internet through the service that the internet provider sets up for you. So you can surf the web, you can check email, stream your movies, etc. When your device connects to the Wi-Fi, well, the signal strength is how strong of a connection your device has with that Wi-Fi router. Wi-Fi speed is determined by the Wi-Fi router as well as the device you're connecting with. Your Wi-Fi signal and speed depends on how close you are to the Wi-Fi router and what may or may not be interfering with that signal, such as walls or windows or anything else really. Now your internet service provider, or ISP for short, sells you a specific internet package that is based on the speed of your internet. For example, if you buy a plan that says you get 300 megabits of internet speed, it's referring to the speed of your internet connection to the home or office modem router unit that they provide you. Your Wi-Fi connection will have a different speed depending on the modem router they provide you. Now, let's say for example, your Wi-Fi has a max speed of a thousand megabits, but as you move further away from your Wi-Fi router, that speed may drop to say 600 megabits, 100 megabits, five megabits, or you might have it disconnect completely. Now your internet speed may still be running at that 300 megabits that you're paying for. Therefore, in this example, it's the Wi-Fi coverage that's the issue and not your internet. Now, on the flip side of things, if you're right next to your Wi-Fi router, and your Wi-Fi signal strength is excellent, but your internet speeds are really slow, then the issue might be with the modem router, or it might be with the cable coming into the house, or it might be the device you're using to connect to that router. As convenient as Wi-Fi is, the speed can be inconsistent depending on many factors around you. So it's important to know the difference and be able to troubleshoot both Wi-Fi issues as well as your internet issues. Now, if you want more information about this stuff, go ahead and check out my beginner's guide to wireless router best practices. It'll give you a little bit more uh, details about how to place your router or um, some other best practices when using Wi-Fi. Let me know in the comments below if you have had Wi-Fi issues at your house and if you were able to get it resolved as well as what the fix was or maybe you're still dealing with the issue and what it is. Don't forget to subscribe and I'd like to thank you for watching. Bye.